What's going on guys? Back to another vlog. Check out what I'm wearing. T-shirts and shorts. So that might already indicate to you guys where I'm going. Although I am currently in Paris. Where can we see? Paris. Oh no, this is just said, it's the Paris North Station. But anyways, I'm currently in Paris, but I'm going, I'm currently in Paris, but I'm going to the south. And uh, in fact, I'm going to somewhere that was close to Nice. But uh, yeah, I'll say that for now. Hi guys, so here we are at the first stop, Cannes. So this is the same place where they have the music festival every single year. It's a world-renowned music festival, the Cannes Music Festival. And uh, otherwise, I'm gonna be here for the first part of my day from 10 a.m., which is currently the time, until 3 p.m. And then I'll be going to the next city after that. But yeah, I'm gonna go explore a bit and I think I'm gonna do a hike, so stay tuned. Okay, so I'm in the casino right now. I don't think I'm allowed to record, but maybe I am, I'm not sure. But you can see I'm in this one slot room that's empty. Of course, this isn't uh, Monaco, but all along this French Riviera, all these different casinos. And I honestly just came here just to use the washroom, so I'm not gonna be gambling at all. I just wanted to check it out. And I'm gonna stop recording now before some reason. All right guys, so I didn't leave because they actually have free croissants and a bunch of different pastries that you can just eat. So I might just spend a bit more time here to get my share. So I got a croissant here and a pain au chocolat. It's like a chocolate bread thing with chocolate filling. And yeah, one song. So there you guys have it. I ended up spending a bit more time than I would have wanted in the casino, but it's not because I was gambling, it's not because I was getting a bunch of free food. So I even got one in the cup. Once I finished my drink, I decided to make use of that space instead of wasting it. And uh, it's safe to say that uh, I won't need to eat until midday now that I've had all of those pastries. Something interesting about the beaches here in Cannes is the fact that they're sand. Beaches as opposed to Nice, which had the pebble beaches. So as you guys can see here, you have a bunch of sand and then all of the sunbathers there along the shore. I might have to go down and walk on the beach for a bit, but uh, otherwise I'm not going to be doing anything beyond that. So here you guys go, we're at the beach. I'm only going to come up to this length because it's really much harder to walk in sand and it's all going to enter in my shoes if I go any farther. But uh, that's the one advantage about a pebble beach is that you can actually go in there with shoes, whereas you need to be barefoot on a sand beach. All right guys, so I brought out the hat and I'm currently at one of the ports. It's actually, I think the secondary port of, port of the city, I'm sorry. The main port is over there, if you see where the boats are. But yeah, you can see I have a, quite a nice view of the city from here. And there's this boardwalk that goes all the way to the other side uh, or to the end of this port in particular. I probably won't be going to the end because it's so sunny and there's no shade anywhere. But uh, I'm now going to be making my way along the coast back towards this other, the other part of the city because that's where the more interesting stuff is. So I'll be walking all along the coast back there. And there's also the hike that I was planning on doing which is starting over there because you can see there's quite a few hills there off in the distance. So and seeing that I only have like three, uh, three and a half hours left here, I don't want to waste too much time here since it's just boats. But yeah. So I'm just about to leave from this particular part of the beach, but there's a monument to uh, Charles, de, Charles de Gaulle just here, and I think to the French resistance in general, which is interesting. I wanted to also mention that during the First World War, Cannes, so where I'm currently at, was used as a medical base. So I think most majority of the medical operations kind of treatment of injured soldiers was based here. That's what I read online. But then also you have a monument to Charles, Charles de Gaulle here, which if you actually are not aware in a Canadian historical context, is uh, he's not the most popular figure. He did quite a few things that were uh, controversial and I don't like him in particular because of that. But of course here he's a very lauded figure. Hi guys, so it's really noisy here, but I'm at the Palace of Festivals. And you can see there we have a red carpet. I'm assuming that's the same red carpet, red carpet they use, sorry, for the Cannes Music Festival. So once more, it's just there and it's under construction. A lot of things here are under construction. It seems like it's a 24 seven construction site. So guys, I'm currently in the tourist uh, office and um, the music festival here that I was just referring to is from the 16th to 27th of May this year, the 76th edition. And it's currently the 11th of May. So I had no idea it's this close. If I knew, I probably would have came next week during the actual festival itself, just to see how crazy it was. But um, yeah, so here you have a few of the exemplars of the uh, Walk of Fame plaques. So these are also outside all across the ground in front of that red carpet that I showed you. And um, yeah, so there's a, a few other things here, but uh, unfortunately I'm not gonna be here for the festival. So guys, I succeeded in getting the maps that I was looking for from the office. 
And then here, I was mentioning you had those same handprints for the Walk of Fame outside, these ones I was referring to. And then behind me, you have the actual uh, location where the music festival is going to occur in five days. So just look inside there. I'm not sure if that shows, but basically I think it's just a big hall exposition center which a bunch of, with a bunch of movie theater, theater, sorry, since I think that's the point of the festival to play movies. And uh, yeah, so once more, that's why they have so much construction, I guess, because of all of the preparations and uh, it's interesting to observe. So guys, here you have the town hall of Cannes. Just there, you can see it's very faintly written Hotel de Ville. There's also a war memorial here, I believe the Second World War, but I'm not sure. It could be both first, both World Wars and a bunch of flags. But as you can see, it's all fenced off, so I'm not getting access. But there's something else that's a bit more interesting. It's the old town, which is just in front of me. So you can see there with that clock tower. That's one of the landmarks in the old town. So I'm going to go there instead and uh, let's see how it is. So guys, I'm in the old city now and I just entered into this art school and the doors are just open. I'll show you. That's the door. There's a class currently going up, going on up there on the stairs. And here is another workshop with a bunch of uh, busts of art pieces, which is interesting. Also, I wanted to quickly note, now that I'm in this cool and calm place, that uh, when I walked up to the old city, which I'm currently in, I passed a sign that was like tsunami safe zone or something like that, because I guess since this is a highly elevated position, in ever the case of a tsunami, this is where all the people are supposed to go. And it was just interesting to see. It's like, you are now safe from the tsunami when I pass that sign. Of course, I don't think that is a really a large side of happening here, but of course they still have to be prepared if it ever occurs. So guys, here we are in the Cathedral Notre Dame of Hope. I believe that's the correct translation. So Our Lady Hope. And it's at, once again in the old city. This is a quite an old church. There's even the organ that you see there. So that was originally built in the 19th century, sorry. And it was uh, made by a organ fabricer in Lombardy, Italy. But uh, they've also since changed the pneumatic system, which is what I wrote on the sign since it was obsolete. So many things are probably having been changed in this cathedral, like many others. There's also a grand piano here, which I found interesting. There's just one just chilling here. And there's eight chapels across the cathedral so four on each side as you can see each alcove is a chapel with that being said oh, almost just fell. with that being said it's uh, not uh, that crazy of a cathedral given it's in the old city so not that much space but still quite uh, quite impressive I right, guess so we're here basically at the summit of the old town and you have behind me the tower of Mount or Mount uh, Chevalier. So, um, Chevalier, that's like uh, somebody who rides a horse, I believe. But uh, more importantly, you can have the view of the entire city from here. So, there you have it. And in particular, you should be able to see the, uh, the festival event center, the Palace of Festivals there. That's once more where the, the music festival, sorry, not the music festival, the film festival occurs. And then also similar to Nice, you have a massive uh, can logo here. So to, to kind of show off the city, kind of like Hollywood in some sense. And uh, yeah, so that's there. There's the museum, which actually enables you access to the tower that is just behind me. But um, similar to the strange French customs, they're closed for one hour midday always. And that is right now. So I'm not gonna be able to wait. I might be able to come back here on my way back, but that is not yet certain. However, if you get to go to the tower, which is just once more right there, I think it's like probably the best view anyone, anybody can have of the city since it's like the highest point. So now I'm gonna be making my way to a very nice library and uh, I hope you'll enjoy.